Hey birdie. I'm gonna name you Tweet Tweet. Tweet Tweet. I'm gonna be tweeting when I'm singing Rock and Robin in the shower tonight. February 26, 2019. Quick uh, weekly wrap rundown of last training week. Uh, of course, I'm in the next week now because it's Tuesday, but out here for an easy jog in Boulder here, stacking the miles for context. Just finished up, well, a little over 10 miles, 16K. Uh, I'm gonna run again tonight. So I run most days. I gotta run twice a day, most days. Easy mileage day today. I did a workout yesterday. Do another workout tomorrow. Uh, Trying to run about 115, maybe 120 miles this week. It'll be uh, it's about 195 kilometers. But run down on last week. Last week was, hey buddy. Last week was a bit of a lower week. Less mileage, about 92 miles. I believe that's about 148k. Uh, put the kilometer mileage there. And you know, it was a bit of a low week because I had just raced the Moa Bread Hot 55K. Said that ultra in my legs. Took some easy single digit mileage days right after that. Drove back from Moab, hopped on a plane flight to Phoenix and Flagstaff. Was out there to do some uh, media work. Ended up the film shoot got canceled because of the snowstorm, which of course you saw last week. Going crazy in the hotel gym, running on the treadmill. Stacking uh, some 16, 17 mile days. Is that like 28 kilometers a day, 30k a day almost, on the treadmill, and did a couple workouts, did a couple light fart lick jogs. Before I get too far, tomorrow, forgot to mention, uh, I'm doing a spring energy night with a lot of the local spring energy athletes here in Boulder. Uh, sponsored spring energy night at the Boulder Running Company on Pearl Street. Got a fun group run at 6 p.m. And then after that, we're gonna do a panel discussion, have some giveaways, uh, prize stuff, Q&A, things like that. You can meet the Spring Energy athletes. Uh, yeah, it's, you can, there's a Facebook event. I'll link to it in the description below. But if you're in the Colorado, Boulder, Denver area, 6 p.m. Wednesday night, February 27th at the BRC. Hope to see you there. I think this is a trail. This became a trail, side trail off the CU Cross Country course. Or at least it used to be the CU Cross Country course. But anyway, light for like first workout back. I think it was last Wednesday, 12 times, one minute on, one minute off, just to get the legs turned over, see how they felt. They did feel tired after the Moab Red Hot 55K. Slick Rock beats them up, go figure. A couple days later, I did an up-tempo run of about six miles, a little less than 10K, also on the treadmill in Flagstaff Hotel, and uh, ran about 537 mile pace average. Uh, would have been like about, I think it's like about 35 minute 10k pace, about. Of course it was less than 10k, it was like 33 minutes and 30 seconds for 6 miles. Uh, I kept the heart rate under 160 for the most part to the last mile, so that was good. Of course it's a little harder at Flagstaff because you're up at 7,000 feet, so you feel the altitude a bit more than Boulder. But, uh, you know, treadmill's easier, I had the Hoka carbon rocket on. Did get quite hot, I was drenched in sweat, which is uh, always a drawback with treadmill running, like I said in my treadmill videos. Didn't have a fan or anything on the treadmill or in the gym, so that definitely makes it harder. And then uh, flew back, it's always harder to travel, just sitting in the car, sitting in the airport, sitting on plane flights. Your legs get a little bit more tight, so you know, that was an issue, but uh, Solid week and I'm back in Boulder now. It's beautiful. We have another snowstorm coming at the end of the week. Well, pretty nice right now. And uh, trying to take advantage of that, getting some faster workouts in, boosting that mileage still. The goal focus of Rotterdam coming up in six weeks. But then after that, Comrades, of course. It's a big, big focus for me. So really got to put in the longer efforts, long runs, but also work on that turnover, that intensity activating the glutes, things like that. So I'm gonna go over to this hill here, do some hill sprints. Again, I had a faster fart lick workout yesterday uh, that I'll include in my re weekly wrap up next week. But thanks so much for all your support on here. Again, really appreciate all the Patreon support. Hopefully you didn't see Fuzzy too much today. 
because I trimmed it. I should probably trim it a little bit more. But yeah, thanks for this GoPro Hero 7, new audio gear, adapter plugins. I'm gonna work on my editing as well, try to improve that. Uh, and more informative training talks coming your way for sure, especially as the weather gets better. There's less blizzards and snowstorms here in Boulder. But thank, can't thank you guys enough for your support. Again, could, uh, the Patreon supporters really help me out a lot, as well as just subscribing on here, liking these types of videos, sharing this channel, and information on social media. But really hope that your training is going well. Thanks to my title sponsor, Hoka One One, and all you guys that support, all my sponsors. Can't thank you guys enough. The generosity of the running community is amazing. So hope your training is going well, and definitely uh, subscribe if you like these types of videos. Stay tuned for more Sage Running videos. I zoom in on you. You keep it real, birdie. Tweet, tweet. Your birdie and your tweet, tweet. Even them both. Very creative with original names.